Hey guys, I think one of the hardest uh, topics to learn while you're starting to rank up in Battlegrounds is the concept of teching. Um, so I wanted to take some time today to go into that, and it's kind of going to be three categories. First is one, understanding when you need to tech and what you're teching against. Uh, two is going to be figuring out what cards to use as tech. And then the third is how to counter tech cards. Um, so first, let's start with what is teching off. So generally when you're playing the game of Battlegrounds, you're going through the first 10-ish turns or so, just trying to build up a board of big stats. Um, eventually around, you know, turns 10 to 13, depending on the lobby, um, you get to a top four scenario, someone high rolled, you know, you have a 5% chance of winning. You can kind of pick one of two strategies. Either you can just keep going with your main thing and probably lose, probably keep that 5% strat going. Um, if you have the faster engine, you know, sometimes this is the right play. Maybe, you know, you just found your brand Caligos, you're only 20 stats behind, and, you know, this is your your time to, you know, pop off. Um, sometimes uh, you're someone else just high-rolled and you're trying to either scam them to just save a couple lives so you go an extra round, um, or you're trying to, you know, get that top one spot from someone that hit the nuts and, you know, you each have really good boards, but you need to take out a couple key units. So that's kind of what we're going into this time. So I'm going to kind of use the current meta for just understanding the cards specifically and the comps. Um, however, I kind of want this to be the mindset that you have whenever, you know, patch changes. Um, there's always going to be tech cards in the meta. They're all going to do similar things to some extent. You know, they all, you know, interact the same way. You know, if there's Reborn, something like Sindori that takes Reborn off is always going to be, like, the tech card. Now, if they move it to five, if they move it to two, you know, it's the same idea, right? Um, so, I'm trying to make this so at least the theory behind it works, but we're using the current patch as the example. So, let's first look at what the main comps are. Um, so, I'm going to go through, you know, just each of the different tribes and what they do so right now beasts are kind of the one unique uh very combo heavy uh comp you know they have hawk that triggers a goldron um they have banana slam and then baron that just kind of make it so like a mecha horse on the um board gets very big that's just how we're thinking about beasts nagas they're going to be big minions there's going to be a couple of divine shields because they have a lot of spell generation they also have a way to get uh divine shield with one of the nagas quill boards same kind of thing just big minions they might have a couple of divine shields elementals same thing big minions undead um you know they're kind of unplayable right now after the morose nerfs but in general undead just going to be a bunch of really um a bunch of like little reborn units uh, a lot of death rattle heavy uh, stuff. Demons, they're big minions. Murlocs, big minions, they have a lot of scam. Uh, mechs, big minions, a lot of divine shields. Pirates, they're big minions. So that's kind of all the tribes you're going to face ever. Uh, just summarizing them like that. So let's start thinking about what are the techs that you need to do. So the most common that you heard throughout all of those is just big minions, right? Um, this is the most common thing you play. You know, if you look at all my videos for how I reach different MMRs, um, this, this is the way you play the game, is just get big, big minions, you know, easier said than done. Um, so what you need against big minions is poison or pseudo-poison cards that have some type of two-for-one trade. You know, you need to kill something and do something else. Um, generally, if you're in a just 1v1 scenario, like you're against the last opponent, if they outscaled you, you can throw away your buff cards. Um, and play these scammer cards and tech for, against them because if they are bigger minions It doesn't matter if you have a hundred hundred if they have a 200 200, right? Um, so really good examples in the curse patch Mergul is like the king of this where he has the ability to guaranteed go one for one if it goes uh, Reborn it goes two for one, right? Um, another example of this would be the Murloc Belcher um, which has uh, Venom itself so it kills something and then death throttle gives Another thing, Venom. So you're able to kind of two for one with that, especially if you have a way to pull uh, Murlocs out of your hand. Um, less, the best uh, big thing killer right now, something like Bramble Witch, which um, changes the stat. So it's no longer a big thing. You know, it it kills something and then survives on the board to deal, you know, to live there, maybe trade a Divine Shield or something else. So the key things you're looking for against big minions is just something that's able to two for one. It's a big, it's able to kill something and do something else. Um, so the next thing that was a common theme against all the comps is Divine Shields. Um, so there's a couple really good uh, Divine Shield killers. One of these is going to be something like Blaster. Um, so you can put Blaster, it dies, it deals 3 damage to everything, right? Uh, so when it deals 3 damage to everything, it takes all the Divine Shields off. 
Um, the other way that you can deal with um, divine shields, uh, depending on you know how they have their taunts or whatnot, something like a mecha horse that's able to um, hit just a lot of times. Um, if they have a taunt, you know mecha horse doesn't really work quite as well uh, because they're all just going to be hitting the uh, taunted unit. Um, so th that's at least another option. Blaster is definitely the best best thing to clear. Uh, divine shields. Um, I think the big thing to know about divine shield uh, counters, uh, there's not a good one that's like something that takes divine shield off and trades. Um, I guess Bramble Witch kind of does this, but that's just one divine shield. Blaster itself is just going to take the divine shields off, so you still need to have some type of stats um, backing up after you do this. Um, this is why like something like dragons and nagas, like if they get big, um, they're really hard to deal with because they're very hard to counter because they're already going two for one with their divine shields. Um, so next thing is how to tech against reborn. So this is going to be both, um, you know, if someone does a Goldrin taunted with reborn um, for beast and then just generic undead. Um, there's really one card that's the best for this, and that's going to be something like Sindari, um, which takes the reborn off and it attacks taunt minions. So you can also use this to kind of help with what I was saying before with the death rivals um, for divine shields is you take the divine shield or the, you take the taunts off and then you're able to hit all the divine shields that way um so then finally the last thing is just how to tech combo right now the big combo deck or comp is like beast um and you can you beat this with snipers so right now there's two really good snipers uh in the current patch well i say really good kind of loosely they're anchor and worgen um anchor is start of a, the combat it's able to attack something and the worgen's able to snipe around uh, taunt. Um, so the big thing with these is that they're able to do their attacks while dodging taunt. The other thing you can do, um, once you take those taunts off, um, uh, something you can do with the Sindari is you take the taunt off of something like their uh, Goldrin, um, and then you can play a small taunt. Um, so the Goldrin's value trades, and they don't get their death rattle off. Um, so that's just a really good way to deal with the current combos. Um, this one's probably the hardest uh, to adjust to for every patch. Um, so Finally, those are the techs, right? Uh, so the next thing we're going to talk about is how do you anti-tech. So um, people are going to be doing this against you. Once you get to good battlegrounds, they're not going to just play big stats every game. They get to a point where they did their big stats, and now they're in a 1v1, and they're going to try and beat you, right? So the first thing you can do, the easiest thing to do, is make your minions worgen proof. Give your Baron, you know, some type of extra health so that worgen doesn't snipe it. Worgen, you know, has 10 attack, and it attacks things with less than 10 health. If Baron has more than 10 health, or if it has Divine Shield, Worgen's not going to be targeting it yet. Um, similar thing with Anchor, you know, if you can give it more stats than the Anchor. Um, unfortunately, if they buff their Anchor, it becomes just like a mind game kind of fight, and, you know, really the outplay to that is just doing some um, weird positioning. Um, if they're teching Sindari, uh, what you can do is take your taunts off. Um, this also works for dealing with Bramble Witches, is... Um, make it so the Bramble Witch and the Sindari aren't going to hit your big taunt minions. Instead, they're hitting either a bad taunt minion or they're just randomly hitting and you're playing percentages. Um, another thing you can do against uh, specifically Murlocs and other Venom poison scam cards is using your own anti-Venom. So Mecha Horse is a really good example of this where um, if Venom, they are only able to do that effect once. If they use it against the thing that death rattles into a 1-1 and that 1-1 trades, uh, you just got rid of that value, right? Um, and then right now, one of the best scam cards, the hardest to deal with, is Golden Matador, um, which reflects two attacks. Um, and this is probably the hardest card to deal with. It always pretty much essentially goes two for one. The Right now, the good tech to do against this is something like Blaster. Um, and especially if they're not using Golden Matador, they only have a regular one. Make it so it only reflects three damage, and it's literally just a dead, dead card at that point. Um, so yeah. Doing this kind of, you know, in the sight of the current patch, hopefully some of this will um, help in future patches. Uh, but teching is definitely one of those concepts that's like how you de go from, you know, just playing big stats to actually playing Battleground. So hope this helps um, and see you guys in the next one. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If 
only I could go back in time I tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
towards your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
a stain which has determined your fate i've never seen so clear i feel the end and it's near the day of reckoning's here the sound of death and in fear oh.